Chess friends, how are you? Today I will show you the third game between Magnus Carlsen and me, that is a very tricky game, I thought I will sacrifice my queen but, I changed my mind and I dominate Magnus pieces and board with my 100% accuracy, Magnus started the game with e4, we have e5 knight f3 knight c6 and we have bishop b5 which is called Rui Lopez opening, a6 bishop back to a4, knight f6 and here Magnus could play castle to give me a free pawn. But intelligent humans know the tactic behind the castle move, but Magnus Carlsen played d3 to create pawn chain which is called Anderson variation, now the bishop can't take advantage over the diagonal which the bishop usually do in Rui Lopez, so I pushed my queen side pawn, bishop b3 and the bishop can be targeted the knight, bishop b7 is a natural move on this pawn structure, I played bishop e7, knight c3, d6 and Magnus strikes the rook side with a4 and he creates some space for the bishop. Always focus on the development of your situations, no matter is it chess or your life, don't stay on your comfort zone, so I push my pawn knight d5 and you shouldn't take the knight because a bishop takes knight and it will create junk problems so I moved my knight on a5 to target the bishop, bishop a2 and after knight takes bishop takes, you may think the bishop gets a open diagonal but it can be blocked by c6, and this pawn threatening to the bishop, so bishop back to a2 castle, bishop d2 rook b8. Magnus played castle, c5 a3 h6 knight h2, so many moves are passed away like time journey, his idea is to push the f pawn, takes and try to open the file, play queen h5 and there is an amazing tactic with bishop takes h6 after doing some developments, I know very well that you can't see the tactic moves because you have a 2GB brain with idiotic Samsung CPU, I played king h3 to play the same move which magnet wants to play, if you can play that then I can play too. So queen h5 row target this pawn with two attackers, so I blocked it with bishop e6, takes takes, and the light square diagonal gets weak but Magnus Carlsen can't take advantage of it, if Albert Einstein and Bobby Fischer get a chance live again and try to defeat me on this position, they can't even touch my single pawn, because I am stockfish, as a fish lives in an ocean, I live like a fish in an ocean of intelligence, chess strategies and tactics, d5 is coming, so he played queen here to target the pawn. Queen c8 to protect that pawn and threatening to push the c pawn, so we have rook e1, Magnus wants to move his rook like this to get the g file so I played c4, now rook e3 g3 is impossible let me show you why because inferior human sees a chess game in one eye, then rook f4 will come to target it, queen here bishop g5 to give a threat for a discover attack, that's why, in this position we have rook c1, c3, takes takes, the pawn gets the third rank and it creates so much pain for Magnus. We have rook to b2 to target this pawn and then, make the passed pawn. Re-rotate your knight to pressure the pawn, queen d7, takes and it will add pressure to him, and my a6 pawn will be passed, we have h4, Magnus can consider f4 in his next move, we have knight c6 h5, and look at this h pawn, Magnus pushed it sincerely, let me show you what is running in his mind, if a5 then he will sacrifice the bishop, if you take it, then queen g6 check will come, king here and it will be a draw by threefold reputation moves, Magnus wants to make this game draw because he knows. He can't defeat a king of king, the stockfish, a king always be a king, the lion is the king of the jungle, shark is the king of the ocean, and I am the king of chess, I played queen e8, if you take the pawn then queen takes h5 will come, and don't forget about your a4 pawn, so rook e1 knight b4 to target this pawn, rook e2 to protect that pawn with his brother, rook f6, and now, queen takes pawn is a threat, so knight f3 queen takes pawn knight e1 to protect the pawn. Everyone is holding the rope of diamond, if the pawn dies then it will bring big strom to white, so I move back my knight, knight f3, a5 and we have knight h4 to go there to target the Korean spy, do you know about Korean spy movies? I love to watch Korean spy movies on Netflix and Hotstar, that is so impressive, and we have rook b1, you shouldn't take the rook because after queen takes rook, the pawn will be unstoppable like a nuclear bomb after throwing it, and white will not able to stop the pawn, so rook a2, d5, Magnus had low time and he decided to take the pawn, here comes rook b4 to get the rank, queen here queen takes d5 to target the rook, 
rook a1 and we have a3, if you take the pawn with the rook, then the killer move will come to kill your rook, you have to take it then you will lose the rook, I will be peace up and I will win the game, so in this position, we have knight g6 to target the bishop, bishop d6 and I am threatening to push the pawn to give a discover check to the king so the king moves back away, a2, the pawn is getting closer and closer by every step, we have rook e1 to stop me from playing rook b1, so rook b2, f3 knight b4 to target the pawn and you cannot save the pawn on a3. Let me show you why, if you play any rook moves then knight takes c2 will come anyway, it is helping black to promote the pawn, and after queen g3 black will take the bishop, you cannot take the knight because of rook b1, position will be very bad, so in this position if you play rook e2 then queen takes d3 will destroy you, start your reverse count and the game will be over, so we have rook takes a2, he sacrificed the rook, queen takes rook, bishop takes pawn, he sacrificed his another piece but I wouldn't take it, I will play knight takes pawn to create another passed pawn, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.